about three weeks ago, I I accidentally bumped into one of your earrings uh, sa, sa TV and I got interested that napansin ko na lahat na pinag-uusapan ay mga yeah, mga PDRs, mga citizenship, mga dole. And tinanong ko sa sarili ko, ba't kaya walang cultural component na pinag-uusapan? At sa akin, bilang isang cultural worker, I think it's important na isama itong ingredient ng yung kultura ng Pilipino and the responsibilities of the broadcast industry to our culture. Uh, so, please don't look at me as being on either side. I think the experts on will decide uh, when you vote later. Pero para sa akin na maybe just <laughs> ewan ko kung tama ito may expression friend of the court and I will just like to state my views and I'm feeling ko that besides ang hearing nito is about yung mga nagahanap po yun ng mga compliance or violations with in the past by uh, by the network I believe that this is also hearings na in aid of legislation for the future of for better franchises in the future am I if if we're talking about the this uh, aid in legislation then maybe may relevance so yung gusto mong sabihin ngayon no? um siguro ang tanong ko is ba, dapat bang franchise in, renewal ay tinitimbang rin ang mga impact, ang cultural impact ng programming. Uh, I'm not calling all my artist friends will say, baka we, uh, Kidlat Taimik is calling for censorship or tighter um, uh, chains on the on the kinds of programming. I'm talking, you're pinag-usapan ko lang ako dito ang balance, a call for balance kasi commercial considerations ang pinakamalakas at nag-monopolize the choice ng programs. No? Um, let me give a little background as, as I see our industry, our, our broadcast industry. So, you know, there are, I think there are three main um, broadcasting systems. You, after World War II, um, when America was helping Europe uh, regain after the war, they were offering martial aid. You martial aid was offering um, ways to help industry go back. And one of the offerings of the Mar of Marshall Plan was to help uh, build a broadcast industry. And this commercial broadcasting system was perfected and tried in America. No? Kasi wala silang gera. They were able to first create the technology, the, the television tube, then manufacture it. Tapos nakalat sa mga millions of households kaya naging very potent mass media ito. No? So this was the model that was being offered to the Europeans through the Marshall Plan. Pero sabi muna ng mga I think this is where may nagpray no? ang culture minister. Tayo wala tayong wala tayong ministry of culture dito sa Pilipinas. I think sorry na lang we, I would advocate for that, pero I think our country has copied the American model in general, so kung walang culture of ministry, a ministry of culture ang America or Department of Culture, gano rin tayo, no? So maybe in the absence of that, we have NCCA and other cultural, but this, it is different to have a uh, culture ministry. Anyway, in, in relationship to this application, napaka maglagay sila ng commercial broadcasting ang most of the ministers of culture sa teka muna, teka muna are we going to let Coca-Cola or Colgate or Ford Motors decide what images will be seen by our children by our public and they said toko, teka muna it's <laughs> we cannot leave it to them so 
opted for another kind. No? The other extreme of this commercial broadcasting system where there's a lot of there's a lot of freedom and the uh, of broad broad limitations which uh, maybe you know, like what the MTRCP has to warn people who so also Brazil. <laughs> I remember but I think um, when I was in college um, I think we copied some of the censorship criteria ng, ng America and, and maybe some of you remember na dati uh, one, breast, one breast exposure pwede pa pero kung two breast exposures na po uh, bawal na yan but these are kinds of censorships that are based on measurable things ng mga technicalities but anyway yung censorship naman the other model is the state controlled television as in the communist countries and then talagang total censorship and you cannot you don't have even a little, a little iota of freedom to do what freedom now between these two extremes so sabi ng mga ministers of culture talaga mo na let's let's not give the power to the commercials to the commercial sponsors and let us not give it totally to the government who can perpetuate itself in power. Nakahanap sila ng middle ground and it's called the autonomous broadcasting system. And best example is BBC, no? And who's to say BBC is boring or shallow? BBC is a very good model. Pero ito, all the programming, the budgets for programming and for running the, the they come from yung taxes on TV sets. Every time a receiver is sold, merong tax yun. And I think every year, pagka naka-register yung TV mo, as long as it's operating, you pay taxes. So ito ay nagkakaroon ng budget to support autonomous programming. That is neither, hindi beholden sa sponsors, commercial sponsors, hindi rin beholden sa gobyerno. But it has a mandate give all some entertainment to inform and to enrich the culture of the people. I mentioned this long ago because maybe now we can understand why we are having this hearing today, no? Na siguro, when commercial broadcasting has its own momentum, uh, maybe there are questions of what is the impact of this kind of uh, broadcasting on sa kapana ng mga Pilipino, no? Okay, uh, let me, yung unang, just to get to where I am, no? Yung, un, yung unang head ng BBC, and BBC nga was done on a non-commercial basis. Pero, I think in the 1950s, nagkaroon na ng uh, possibility na magkaroon ng commercial broadcasting, yung ITV at ayon. Anyway, he fought this kasi, Alam niya, malakas ang influenza ng the money that uh, feeds you, no? Uh, it's a it might be extreme, but anyway, his name was uh, Lord John Reed, yung unang head ng BBC, and sabi niya, somebody introduced Christianity to England, and somebody introduced smallpox, bubonic plague, and the Black Death. Wala pang COVID nun, pero siguro dapat kasama yun. Need we be ashamed of the moral and cultural values or the intellectual and ethical objectives which are now at stake if we leave everything to sponsored broadcasting? Uh, in a way, I think he was explaining kung ano uh, baka ang magiging problema when advertising revenue is the only criterion or the main criterion for what is televised. Okay. Sa Filipinas, we, I think we chose the American model, not only because we were colonized, but I guess after the war, we were given independence uh, July 4, 1946, although we had gotten our independence before. But the American model, and, and I think it was the out-of-broadcasting system of Antonio Quirino, no? who is the brother of the former president. They started it and the commercial basis ng 
broadcasting dito sa Pilipinas. Ito sinundan rin ni Uncle Bob. Uh, you all remember Uncle Bob Stewart sa uh, Channel 7. Uh, again, also the, the, uh, from the, um, our situation as a, com- a commercial broadcasting system. Okay, anong, anong, if I can bring up the question, anong, anong rele- why is cultural relevance important? I'm not saying that all programs dapat may ballet dito at may concerto dyan may tibuli uh, weaving. It's not, we're not talking about that. Pero we, let's face it, uh, ad revenues create a certain direction in the kind of programming that is fed to our people. No? Kanina, I'm, I'm glad that uh, kanina pinag-usapan niyo yung bias, no? And I think you're talking about bias in in um, use casting and there's also but there are other kinds of biases that I might I might add here, no? Like for example, and I'm glad yung nagsalita yung KBP kanina because now I know where to complain. I remember ho nung somewhat the late 1990s uh there was a TV program, and I think it was uh, Congressman Lucy Torres who was acting there. And then there was a line, no? a line. Maybe it was not her fault, but it was fed to her by the script writer. Mayo pangit pangit mo. Siguro tatay mo ikaw. Ha 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 ha. Kind These are these are supposed to be funny, but there are biases that are not even covered by the by. by by the sponsors, no? Um, this, 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 or another bias that we can talk about is like, um, about three years ago or four years ago, I was so happy and at last my own television series which was based on tribal people, katutubo, mga alamat nila, nakapasok, they had enchanted snakes, and it's yung Amaya yata, yeah, it's Amaya. And I was congratulating, I mean, to myself, the GMA for, well, most uh, producers are too lazy to do period films. I'm going to have to make costumes, make research. Mr. Vigia, Mr. Vigia. Yes. Thank you for the remarks. I don't know how to ask you. Can I, may I interrupt you, sir? Yes, 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 sir. Sir, uh, I noticed that, uh, May sinabi ko kayo, kayo kanina that if advertising revenue becomes the only criteria for broadcasting, ay magkakaproblema po yung ating lipunan. Did you say that, sir? Magkakaproblema ang ano? Ang, ang ating bansa. Pagka yeah. advertising revenue na lang po ang naging basis ng decision ng broadcasting. Did you, you said this earlier, di ba? Ah, uh, yes, yes. I believe that the, the, the bias or the skew that comes from the preponderance ng advertising will, will change what our audiences will see and what they cannot see. There are many films or, or programs that cannot be shown because hindi, what's uh, word, patok sa takilya, or what I call pst, pst, film, patok sa takilya, or patok sa, sa advertisers. So there are many programs that you'll never see day of light because they do not fit the Nielsen ratings. Uh, Nielsen ratings is the way of how they choose the program. So, ito na lang po, no? Would you have any word to ABS-CBN? Kasi sila pong dominant players sa industry, eh. They're the most dominant players in the broadcasting industry. Would you have any word for them to at least uh, drop up your, ano ko sa amin, your message to us in the, in the committee? Okay. Uh, um, uh, uh, as I said, I'm, I'm, I'm neither... I'm not looking at this strictly as an abs thing. Or to the committee in general, uh, sir. To, to the committee uh, on franchises, kami, kami yung nagbibigay ng prangkisa sa broadcasters. Maybe you can give us a word of advice to the, to the, to the franchise committee para ho maisaisip namin yung inyong mensahe tungkol sa kultura ng Pilipino. Okay. Um, one of the things that I also wanted to just mention here was yung Sa, sa lakas ng influence ng TV and like it or not, a lot of children are exposed to 
a lot of homes ang pinaka babysitter ay ang TV no uh, i'm sure there are a lot of enlightened parents who do not who would try to control that and engage pero um, let me quote another um alam mo nyo, and this, this i think this is relevant no 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 1961 when uh, the new administration of president kennedy brought in a new fcc commissioner no i, I think the fcc is like our de- department of telecommunications and he was a very he was going to change the whole thing and he said you know uh, out of 73 hours of evening prime time and just 59 hours of action situation comedies quiz shows and movies this question was is there no room on prime time tv to enrich and uplift audiences to enlarge the capacities of our children okay i i i, I can leave that there and whether it's a message for abscbn or for gma or tv5 it's up to them but this is a big question kasi okay our starting point could be this and i think that's why you're having this committee meeting is that broadcasting is a privilege diba given by the government I think the um, premise dito is because the air, the atmosphere, is public property, and the signals can only reach the viewers by you by the networks using that. So, the responsibility, if if the government is giving them with a franchise, they are part of the king. Justice, love, the common good, no. And this is a concept that, of the network that maybe sometimes is forgotten na meron kayong um, there's meron kayong uh, malalim na responsibilidad which was which has to be uh, followed and in this hearings okay um i uh, yeah so your so your question was and i think this is what the that's fcc um, head mr minox said He was he was talking to a broadcasters convention in Washington DC. That's a net. And this is an important point. The public is your beneficiary. If you want to stay as trustees of this responsibility of obligation. If you want to stay as trustees, you must deliver a decent return to your public, not only to your shareholders. And I think sometimes the competition between networks like giving obsessive sila sa Nielsen ratings nila and because of this mas nagiging importante yung patok that the show is going to keep grabbing the audience and therefore the ratings will convince the advertisers to keep putting in the same uh, company so ang 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 trend ang ang the actual bias that we're talking about now is the bias is only for trending diba? i only found out meaning that we're trending last week in trending i don't know why but but trending there also yun ang magiging patok na magiging programa and there will be many subjects that are neglected that will not even have a chance to say so will it be any surprise if the preponderance ng mga lumalabas sa whether it's in the movie houses or in, in on television is yung mga yung mga superheroes di ba? I mean somehow yung kabataan natin are all interested in Spider-Man and Wonder Woman and, and Superman pero wala na silang nalalaman tungkol sa katapila ni ni Andres Bonifacio or yung katalikohan ni Emilio Asinto this is a bias that pushes the crowd maybe nobody is maybe after advertising are patriotic and nobody really thinks what do you want to hear Bonifacio no maybe they just take a muna the cost revenue per peso I invest by showing instead the uh, uh, X-Men or or any major hero this will, will be better than if I show Marilu Diaz Abaya's Rizal film This is the kind of biases that I think are unseen, but you would you, if if a real content analysis done of of, of the 
of our shows will, will show. No? Okay, I want to come to co closing and maybe uh, I will try it. Napansin ko sa last 10 sessions nyo, you've been yeah, looking for violations. And, but yung, if I look at my culture criteria, and I, I want to bring it up, uh, sabi ng KBP kanina, we can take, take complaints. But if, for example, if I would complain that Amaya was such a great adventure and, and, and to take a risk, no? But if I say, take a muna, but why is Amaya? Who is the princess of the village or the, of the people? Okay, I don't know what's her name, Marian. Something, but she's she's the queen of skin whitening um, notions, no? What's the, what is the subliminal message of that? What are kayo mga Filipinas when they see that? Wow, kailangan palagi yung yung pinakapida is somebody who is like them. Uh, these are the kinds of things that maybe, and maybe, and can I come to somewhere where I, if I can I'm talking to the community in terms of future legislation, no? in aid of legislation, I think be aware of this strength of this bias, no? And how can we balance it? Can we have another agency that will try to say, Takamuna? Uh, sobrang, sobrang dito on this thing, or you have to bring in a, a, a cultural balance, whatever. Or well, another possibility is that maybe whatever you vote today, I know that the that the honorable congressmen and women are coming, wanting to come to conclusion to this, no? But whatever you vote, I think I would like to throw a seed to be planted. And I think it, it, we cannot go on like this forever. Yeah. COVID, everybody says after the post COVID, we cannot go back to normal. We cannot go back to what it was before. And maybe it's a blessing that you, your hearings are during this COVID time because we are going to be able to improve it, we can improve it, and our television industry will be truly in the service of the Filipino and the Filipino culture. So, without throwing out any darts at, at any of the particular stations, let me just say that my appeal is we have not, we cannot take for granted the impact of television. The television set is not like a microwave or a, a mixer or a washing machine. It's it's a very proactive machine that, well, you can use some word like brainwash, or it makes us, it controls us to be good consumers. It makes us believe in certain ideologies, but we must make sure that it is really in the service of the people, that it is in the service of our future generations. I want to close this uh, little thing that and let me just give you a last a minute. This is my bamboo camera. <laughs> it's a symbol of, it's a metaphor for telling the local story. You local POV. I think a lot of our programs are patterned after the, the programs na yung which come from abroad. No? But unless we take and tell our storytelling, with our cultural filters, I think we cannot. We will just be copycat. It will just remain as copycats so, of foreign programming because uh, Kikita, uh, ang victim dito is going to be the Filipino people. So this is a, <laughs> a fish trap. I made it into a camera. I think though some of you saw me when I received my award from President Duterte. I, I had a selfie with this camera. But it, please remember this visual. It's a symbol of letting our networks serve the Filipino people in a much deeper way. Ito nga. I'm hoping one day. Last night, one day, I cannot give an award to one network who is, is probably has met the criteria of serving and having programming content that is really. It's a, 
pagtama sa kaloob-looban ng Pilipino. So, maraming salamat po. Smile, you're in bamboo camera. Smile, oh. Salamat po. Thank you, Mr.